first of all, I have to tell that there isn't a shamanistic world because today there are still lots of different tribes or indigenous in South America or Nepal and other countries in Africa too living and they are still living in a shamanistic world. So we have different types of shamanistic worlds, but there's like one carpet below this and this uh, makes all over the world um, like the essence that this is shamanism. This means that everything who exists has like a soul, has consciousness, and that we are a part of this world, that we are not the heroes and the masters of this world, mm -hmm. and that we are always connected to the spirit of other mm, living creatures, mm -hmm. yes. And so I think mostly maybe 27 years, I slowly walk into these different rooms of shamanistic world because I love the way I myself as a woman, as a martyr, as a human can feel and get in contact with this so-called unseen reality because for me it isn't any longer an unseen reality, it is reality mm -hmm. because for me today after long years of experience I think that a real realist is a visionary one. So because this is that there is no, um, that we are always in like altered states. There is nearly n no cutting between this world and the other world. I only have to know them. Mm -hmm. and so I can act in them and this gives a big, big richness to me and uh, with all my senses I can go into this world and I don't have to leave nothing. I don't have to believe nothing because I can experience this with my own body, with my senses and the first is I can explore like my own spirit and then I can get in contact to all the other like qualities of spirit which are in this world and this is a big richness for me mm -hmm. and makes it much more easier to live and it's like to sing a song every day and the tune is changing but it's my song and I can live this kind of sound and I am this kind of sound. Sounds very great. It is. Yeah. And do you feel do you experience that it's also helpful to be a woman in that being in that in those worlds? Ah, this depends. This depends on the culture. When I think of most of the cultures in Nepal, I found it much more easier to be a woman and also easier to work as a she shaman in the society. Mm -hmm. But I mostly, in a way, live in the Amazon, in the Peruvian Amazon. And this, for women, I found and I still find it's not so easy to go. Because mostly men are doing this real important work. And so it took a long time for me to find a woman where I could learn from her. Because we are women and we see the world with other eyes and sometimes these are not our outsider, our biological eyes. It's like I found that if women are really awake that the skin of the women have thousands of eyes and it's not only these eyes or this world, it's a kind, my experience are that women are much more closer like to to the essence of life because they are able to give mm -hmm. birth, to they give life. They can carry life themselves. Yeah, yeah, and so they mostly don't need so hard door openers like men need to get in touch really with this field of alive consciousness. Mm -hmm. And so the problem for me was, it was one experience, a really hard one, because I was looking after a uh, she shaman and I found one in the Amazon and she did a 
she named it healing ritual, but she nearly murdered me. And so I got a ritual with uh, ayahuasca, this plant, you know, which is like a bridge to open really my inner eyes. And But she later, uh, people told me she not only used ayahuasca and shakuna, these both traditional uh, plants which make, uh, which gave effect to you. No, she put a lot of uh, toy, datura, into it and a lot of tobacco. And with this uh, datura, you really can get not only numb in all your parts of your body, but nearly one and a half later, a day later, I wasn't able to go, I wasn't able to talk. I really was uh, afraid n not to get back into my normal state of thinking and consciousness. Mm -hmm. And normally the songs of the shaman are really healing songs. And they do heal not with the plant. The, the plant makes that they can see, but they heal with the sound. And this she woman, uh, she shaman, she really for me, it seemed as if she would have like iron whips and she was like uh, beating me with her iron whips all night long. And uh, I really lost my mind. And later people in the village told me, ha, ah, yeah, if this woman gets a feeling that another woman has a little bit of own power, she really shows everything she can to you. and she is a master, this is true. And they said that only women do like try to get in fight on the spiritual but also on the body way with the effect of ayahuasca, only with women and men with men. Mm -hmm. So it was like a protection for long years that I only was looking for elder men where I could learn with. I really was afraid um, to go to another she shaman. But meanwhile, I found not a lot, but three, four, uh, which are really wise women, and they are all elder ones. But this was a hard lesson for me to trust in a woman, and so I learned it doesn't depend in a way on a woman that is, we are not better humans. Mm -hmm. It depends on what what mm, what do you want? Uh, which effect do you want if you are going? to treat me or if you're going to do a ritual, a ritual, healing ritual with me. And this is the key. What's really your focus? If I talk to you with the focus to give a lot of pain to you and I'm smiling, I will give a lot of pain to you. Mm -hmm. And if she's making this healing ritual uh, with uh, the focus that ah, I want to see if I'm the strongest or she is, she will harm me, that's mm -hmm. it. And then on and on I've been walking and I found another really great old woman. Her name mm, is Dr. Felicitas Goodman. She uh, was an anthropologist and she was really encouraged. She was an old, really strong lady. And she found out that we can change our perception uh, while working only with postures of our body and with the rhythm. And so I have been like a student for long, long years. And so I found beside all these ways to open my mind with the help of plants, I found out what a gorgeous way it is only to work with my body and with a special rhythm and we have done measuring, brain measuring, everything. But this is interesting. But the most interesting is that if you look at really old statues, postures, so in Stone Age, in all the cultures, you can find postures with a real a specific um, way they held their arms, their hand. And if you do this, if you put your hand like this or like this and open your mouth and put back the head, you immediately will feel a really, really great heat and with closed eyes and the um, rhythm of 210 beats per minute, it's really fast. Mm -hmm. The connections in our brain, clack, clack, they turn so that you get in an altered state and you don't have belief, nothing, 
and it's short time, maybe 15 minutes, you can do it, and you really get into the state of visions. And so nowadays I mostly practice this way on one hand and I teach this to people because you don't need nothing, only your body mm -hmm. and a rhythm and a sound. And we are sound. Our body is sound in every cell. We have like sound and water and we have this movement and that's all. And on the other hand, every year for some months I go again and again to into the jungle to get into this really direct contact with uh, where there's nothing else between nature and me and that I learned to sing these songs to to get in contact with really the spirit of what is and that you do that on your own or yeah. also in company with no others? no 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 I I need this time for my own because um, it's very uncomfortable I can tell you not only because of the mosquitoes but because mm, of things which can happen that you get like a bad spell so I have been sometimes really really badly ill uh, because I got like a danyo like a bad spell from the anaconda or once from a jaguar or from another shaman who was guilty because uh, the, like all these things and then you really get ill because it is like this phenomenon of resonance if you are sitting there and you focus only on me and with your song you reach like my field of vibrations mm -hmm. and it's possible that you sing a kind of illness to me mm -hmm. and so where these spirits are really alive and I saw things if I would tell it here on the street people would bring me to the next hospital because it is possible, I know this mm -hmm. today, to see things which other people can't see and with this, in the same moment I can see the newspaper and I can see like a spirit and so I thought, Mamma Mia, what's going on with this? Is the spirit the reality because the spirit looks like you? but it's not you, it's really mm -hmm. something I can't touch. Mm -hmm. And this I learned that if I go within these indigenous cultures with these people into their fields of reality, step by step I'm a part of their reality. Yeah. And this is not like Sunday afternoon TV show because <laughs> this is really, really puts away all your everything what you ever thought in your life that it's possible that someone is touching you like this really hard and no one is around but this only happens for me if I'm living with the people in the village mm -hmm. but this changed my perception and also my daily life here because now I know this is one part of possibility of reality but it's not the only one and this is what I really like to explore, this richness I have inside of me mm -hmm. and that I'm a part of all these different realities if I'm willing to open my mind. Yeah. And I also found out that women in a way also here go another way. Maybe men will name it a softer way, but it isn't a softer way. Um, because we are can mostly, so when I'm doing experience with women, we go out in nature and we sit still, not meditating, but we sit still for hours to get in contact with the other kinds of living, so like trees or animals or something of this. Mm -hmm. And we don't need nothing to change this perception, but um, maybe to take care, to be aware of my breath, uh, breathing or um, I don't know it's an easy way but it's so effectful to go it like this like the soft flowing water which uh, gives the stone a form it's not to take a hammer and to let the stone explore I think in a way my way is more to flow like a water around the stone so that's step by step the stone is changing its form. A very female so approach. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Yes. And the people you work with, you take into nature, yeah. there are mainly women or men also? 
mainly women, and some things I do only for women. I like the men, this is not the problem. But if you are in a group with women, and they are men, men are changing their behavior, and women too. Yeah, and true. so for one, for some experience, if you really try to be like true to yourself, it's better not to get into this kind of game with men. It's mm -hmm. nice, but there are special situations for myself. I'm clearer in my mind and I'm more concentrated on what I'm doing when I'm in one way alone or going with women who also don't take care if you have the nicest lipstick of the day mm -hmm. or the best shoes, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And therefore I do some, for me, important experience only with women. Yes. Yeah. You mentioned that it started for you 27 years ago. Yeah, so with consciousness, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What brought you on this path? Who? Sometimes I thought of this, and I can't remember like a person or a day. It is like a long life longing for to see the unseen, but because I always knew there is more than only the table and the chair. And so you know, if you are open because you are hungry to know something, these things you want to know, they will reach you. Mm -hmm. So, and I haven't been searching, that's not the truth, uh, but I, because since my childhood, we, in, in a way, my father was an artist, and after the war, we were really poor, and we came from far uh, Russia, and so we, there was nothing. And so we had to go into the forest, and we had to look after things to eat. And so I had, like, I was so lucky to have, uh, like, um, the sister of my mother who always brought me in, into the forest and told stories and stories and stories. And nowadays I know that sometimes the real truth is not in science, but it is in this what we call the old stories, because there is an essence of truth. And they all, also if you take your fairy tales, they all have this point of a knowledge mm -hmm. which is behind. And so I think this opened like my view and my longing and going with the colors. If you s close your eyes, so simple, hundreds of colors and forms and lines are appearing. And so there must be something in the darkness. Yes. And the real shamans, they only do their ritual in the darkness because this is the strongest time. Mm -hmm. And all the light is coming out of the darkness. And so mm, this always was combined with my way as an artist because, uh, yeah, you, I can't separate this. You work as an artist also with light and darkness mainly? mostly with colors mm -hmm. which are bright and sparkling but I only can paint if I first uh, do the canvas black I can't paint on white I st see nothing on white the same principle in fact yeah yeah like the shaman does. yeah and so I like to bring like my spirit of life through the colors because nowadays the most interesting for me like a criminal story is that inside of me there is like a great feel of living consciousness, of really life, of sound, of everything. And if I look inside, it's like a cosmic too. And this, this I paint mm -hmm. to to bring it out to 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 make people curious. That they really like also to get in this experience that we can not only think what we are, we we really can see it, feel it. And hear it. You were talking oh, also yeah, about sounds. Can, yeah, we can Don't talk about sounds. I I got the feeling through the years. My ears are. I can hear like the last grasshopper, hundred kilometers away, um, singing or um, coughing. So sometimes, uh, these poor ears, it's too much from them to hear. Can you shut it down as well? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to learn this, but it is sound. I think. Uh, if there's a painting, mm, when the painter has been really in his painting, not thinking, but in his painting, you can sing it. It's like a song too. It is like this. Or if you meet people and you get really this um, taste 
of the essence of people, you can sing this lady. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I once learned that music is the closest to what we could call yeah. the divine power in yeah. the universe. Yeah. And if I hear you well, it sounds a bit like that yeah. to me. Yeah, yeah, we can we can hear. So if they are going with these satellites, all this, um, there is a sound. In this universe, you know, they, some people um, grabbed it, but there is a sound in everything. And this is the princip um, real charm, and they work with the sound. So when I got ill from this not so friendly anaconda, because I disturbed her and I didn't know that it was her place, Mamma Mia, they sang the song of the anaconda for me. And they did hear me in two nights with the song of the anaconda. Mm -hmm. And so, because it's like homopathic stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, when I get hurt from this, I get a thing which is close to this, the same vibrations. Mm -hmm. And so the shamans in Nepal, they take uh, like an inner sound, the mantra. We don't hear it outside, but it is a sound who changes all, everything. Yeah. 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 It. Um also reminds me of we are very much uh, a water filled up with water yeah, all ourselves yeah, yeah. that it also vibrates through our whole yeah, body yeah, then yeah. and bringing it into balance yeah. probably again yeah and so I like this technique with this old lady now she three years ago she died uh, which she explored again uh, only with the rhythm and with the body and because in our brain we have a special part, uh, it's called um, hippocampus. It's like a door to remembrance. And you can open it with harmonic rhythm. They found out in Zurich here when they did research for epileptic uh, people with well, epilepsy. And if I give like, um, like food to this uh, door with a rhythm, mm -hmm. but it must be, as I say, a harmonic one. It opens and you can get to to all your knowledge. Not only you have stored, but I think that within our, our cells, we have like all knowledge of life, also not my private personal life, not of my family, but more and more than this, mm -hmm. and I can, can reach this. Yeah. And this is what shamans also do, uh, that they go into your net on information, which is he I can hear, I can see it, if I would be a shaman, and so I can change it. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's uh, remarkable that here in this in, in the European country, these foundings are made about epilepsy, as you mm -hmm. said, with sound. Uh, do you notice that more and more there is a connection between these worlds, the regular science and the shamanistic yeah, yeah. knowledge. Yeah, I'm so glad it is like this, that now scientific say like the same as old shamans say, which never have read a book because they can't read. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm so happy to live in this time where we can are connected to mm -hmm. this and that I don't have to separate myself from myself because I love to see things also with my like my intellect, and I love to get in process of understanding, mm -hmm. and so I can yeah I can combine these two. These yes. are not two worlds, but now the scientific they slowly slowly walk into the reality. Yes, in, it's always always the question, which reality is the most real, <laughs> and that's <laughs> what we can. <laughs> fight about, but we are here at the psychedelic uh, forum and uh, talking about this these mm -hmm. days, and there it becomes more and more clear that perhaps there is another reality, as you mentioned uh, mm -hmm. clearly yourself, yeah. which is perhaps even more real than we normally hear in our normal world. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much for this talk, I enjoyed it very much. Is there something you want to add still, which we forgot uh, to mention? No, thank you. I'm very grateful that you have this open mind to ask something, because 
I think it's more important to have uh, more questions than answerings, and so I hope we could bring a little more, bit more of questions into this world, and so that more women especially uh, are encouraged to get up and find the own way, which is the own way for them to get in contact with this real alive essence. And yeah, that's it, and this is what I like to, to do.